Nate. How's it going, everybody? I'm some guy named Nate. This is Ultra Despair Girls, a Danganronpa spinoff. I'm playing on the show because it's funny and because I've really, really, really wanted to. So I just wanted to get backlog of it before I started uploading it. So I'm uploading. This is part two, um, and I haven't even uploaded part one. I don't even have my thumbnail yet. But we'll get that. We'll get there when we get there. Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school. Yeah, you know what the school is, everybody. We don't have to tell you. So it was too late when the world finally realized. They realized that they were boned. Out of control. Becoming a monster. Now I got freaking coconut in my throat. It did swallow the entire world. It some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. And that far deeper was an evil organization and stuff. It did come from hopes or just two evil girls. I need to watch the animes again Eventually, as well. The incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. And everything crumbled. You see what the weather lady says? Because an injury has a common source. The violent crime rate went off the charts. And it was nuts. Even that um, DSO News Network. It's not violence BBC. Violence revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Hmm. That makes Before sense. Long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. People just liked the killing each other. It was a thing. The world with despair. And everybody but fell into obscurity. Evil and chaos. I had complete faith in my world. Remember that still shot from the first game, guys? That's uh, Makoto's mom, sister, and dad. So, uh-oh. Even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. I'm all then, right. I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But you're fine. Even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. Never be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. And break my bones. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. Yep. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. And I got locked into a weird prison thingy. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. There you go, guys. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl, but instead, I became a complacent prisoner. True. And what was waiting? There's a for bee that keeps crashing into the window too. <laughs> was the despair even deeper, even worse? This an angry bear. And keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. And now I have a gun, though, so it's fine. And that guy's taking that Kuma's taking a blue person away. That blue person's not gonna know what hit him. Or still at the diner. If you remember from episode one. Why is this happening? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have stayed in my room forever. Yeah, but then you would have died, lol. It was gonna happen anyway. See, here comes Kuma. He's looking. He's angry. But he don't see me. He's like, well, everybody's dead. I have really bad technology in me. I gotta run. You can run, but you can't yeah, hide. You guys said that Someone is supposed to be here, right? Yeah, someone was supposed to be here, and you know who it is. Here. Supposed to be here. The crazy girl with a long tongue and some scissors. See, there's jokes there. Do, 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 look left and right. Look left. And then take a walk. Go get yourself a burger. Oh, that agent didn't make it. That suit. It's the same as that Biakia guy's. Yeah, I know, that's one of Shmaku's bros. Yeah, I know, he's injured. Uh, are you alright? No, he's dying, don't worry. Who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. I'm trying, uh, damn it. Um, you're from Future Foundation. Oh, my right? foot. Yes. How, how did you know? Because I talked to Shmaku. I, I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Yep, and now you're dead. You be are you a captive? Yes, Future Foundation A. Head through this door and go straight down the road. Okay, I'll try to remember. Go to the park. You got it. There should it. be a Future Foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go. I'm trying. What about you? I'm dead already, Bless. 
Yep. Oh yeah, he is dead already. Here come the Kumas. It's okay. Hurry. You gotta get out of here. I'm generic. I don't have any full characteristics. I'm gonna die anyway. Bye. Yep, he's taking on all the Kumas. So Run! Run, Kamaru. Get out of there. With my gun in hand, I've got a plan to take a stand. Now it's 2D? It's in ruins. Forgot that. This is really cool, though. It's like a... Mom! Makoto! Makoto's fine. He's doing a good job right now. Everything's blowing up, but that's okay. It's weird that it's 2D in this section. I guess they're doing another thing with uh, what Danganronpa 1 and 2 did when there were 2D segments. I really liked what they did in V3, though, with the 2D segments in that. Oh, no, there's one girl agent. It's not Kiyoki, Oki, 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 though. Are you people from Future Foundation? No. Maybe. Yes. Remember this guy called Byakuya Togami said that you guys could rescue me. <laughs> yep. He knows the Shmaku. We have to let her on. Yes, we should. Okay, I guess you're what on. What is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. Yep, there's an old grass on some familiar. The information about a captive in this town was correct. Yep, you're related to the main character, so you must be important. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? I don't know, he's just shooting some Kumas. He told me to run, so I... I haven't seen him since. I hope he's not dead, lol. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. Also, guys, this game gets really funny later on. There's a lot of really good mini games in it, like true to the Ronpas. There's gonna be some cool mini games, but so I hope we'll get to that soon. Tagami we're talking about. Well, I'm sure he can handle himself. And then he dies, lol. But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there. Well, he's dead already. It's cool. We got more men. Please, you have to go save him. Nah, it's cool. Understood. I'll go back for him. Well, I'll see ya. Oh, he's dead too. Make it in time. No, he won't. He's dead. What exactly is going on here? Oh, phone's buzzing. What the fuck? Uh, oh, it's just my friend. Okay, I'll talk to her in a little bit. I have no idea what's happening either, Komaro. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything. Or nothing. I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. Yeah, everyone's dead. Get in the helicopter. We're from an organization called Future Foundation. Yes, I remember. I'm trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? The most awful, most tragic event in human history. I know. Incident? Yes, yeah, an incident. It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Yes, I remember. Everyone died. It was more than just an incident. Yeah, you, th dude. That's the same exact blown-up building from Negarampo One. The exact same one. But that's okay. Oh man. Dead bodies are worth the same exact gunshot to the head. Various incidents broke out all over the world. There's blood everywhere, and there was a gun held to bald man's head. And then the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Yep, look at all those not real uh, photos of people that we digitally enhanced. Because of all this, the world just crumbled. But in all that chaos. Yeah, I know, Izuru Kamakura. Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. With Izuru Kamakura. There he is. Oh, and as for this town... Yeah, everyone's dead. Are you alright? Are you following? No, I'm not following, lady. Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. Yeah, because there's explosions so going on in the background. Ah, uh, kablam. I need this to know right now. Is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. Is it Jabberwock Island? It's commonly called Toa City. Oh, okay. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Okay, what did it used to be called? Butt City? Rack City? Ever cool since city? the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy. Yeah. Toa Group and their cutting edge technology are running the show here. Are they evil? The group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Yeah, they're probably evil. The tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. 
Like, it's just America. Everyone else is fine. The Telegroup developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. Is that what Junko used in the uh, Hope's Peak building that she used as a bargaining chip? If you guys remember the events from one, again, go watch the other Ronpas if you haven't yet. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. He, wow. That's pretty good. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. Are they charging tons of money for it? Because that's what an evil organization would do. But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. It's the because guns. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. Yeah, ooh, we should because see the other cities. relatively unaffected by the incident. It's of special interest to us. Pretty dope. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. Yeah, even with all the arm chopping and thrust backwards, you chop, thrust, chop, thrust. Reuse so that animation. Why is something like this happening? Because Junko sent some texts to people. Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Nobody told Where you? Where those Monokumas came from? Why they're attacking the city? It's the evil children, dude. Broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. Evil children babies attacking slaves. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. Yeah, I know. Whose fault is that, Future Foundation C? Into, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave. At least for now. Though you're all dead, though. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. Oh, you're gonna get killed anyway. Um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long. I... Yeah, I know. It's okay. How about your family. They're all dead. Hold it. What was that? Yep. You're Did all you dead. It's a bomb on your helicopter. Is that singing? Yep. Over Who's there. That? Over there. Over where? <laughs> an evil kid. You have an evil child. Get back. Okay, and dead. Use your gun, you big idiot. Don't shove my butt like that without my permission. Ah, oh, denied. Shut the door. Use your girl muscles. Fist. Yep, keep kicking him. Kick a robot, that's gonna help. Okay. He's good. You're good. Turn your head slightly to the right. The yeah, I figured the pilot's getting obliterated. Kuma got the pilot. How do I fly this thing? Oh, he's flying it. And away, here we go. Oh, great. And off we go into the stars. Well, we're gonna have to kill that Kuma on a plane. Kuma's on a plane. It's my favorite film. Oh man. It's doing an execution sequence with her. Look at this. I hope, yep, Kuma's going, he's flying in hard. Going ham. Oh, he broke the lever off, silly me. And down we go. Oh man. Downward spiral. This is downward spiky. No despair for you. Kablam. Did we do we survive? Hello? Nope, we're dead. But I'm okay somehow. Oh, it blew up and it threw my skirt up, but I'm okay because it was censored. And then there's one Kuma left. You make that a lot of them. A lot, a lot of them. Again, girl, do you have a gun? Why'd you faint? And I'm just laying here. I'll let him kill me, it's cool. Pile of Kumas. Well, the resources with the, ugh, their resources are being wasted on this crap. They're just throwing 800 Kumas at me, man. Man. Hey, hey can indeed. you hear me? I can hear you. Are you okay? I'm doing okay. You'll never guess who it is, everybody. Who is it? Think about all the characters from the other ones, everybody. Who is it? Ugh, my head. Look left, look right. <laughs> You look completely exhausted. There's the man of the hour. Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all... Or is it? I'm just a lowly servant. So what did they do to fucking... Uh, see, again, the events of this game kind of make little sense. So I need to get I the timeline there. But you know who that servant is, so everybody. I came here to seek refuge. Then... 
The riots. Nagito burrito, everybody. It's everybody's favorite burrito. And why is he wearing a collar like that? For the fangirls is why. On top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But you're so lucky, Nagito Burrito. Because I pleaded for Look, it's the same happy face. Look at you. Me to live as their servant. Okay. The servant for Future Foundation or the servant for the evil Be children? Rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. No, Nagito, we don't need to talk about me. Either you truly are completely exhausted. Or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. Can I kick your ass and escape? You were asleep a full two days. Yeah, because I was really tired is why. A full two days? Yep, two a days. Full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. What is Taurus City destroyed now? Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. In the rain. Ah. But you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? Correct, Nigido. You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. No clue, Burrito. What's going to happen to me? I don't know, but there's a big present sitting right next to the Nigido Burrito, so it's probably nice things. I don't know, Burrito. Huh? <sighs> uh, indeed. Uh, apologies. Your reaction was so normal. It surprised me a little. Nagito, you're just surprised by everything, aren't you? <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Yeah, I do. I have a gun. Uh, um, I'm indeed. Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. Yeah, just like you, Nagito. One capable of empathizing with common, boring people. Uh, yeah, sure. Boring person like yourself. No. So that's why you pass. Okay, thank you. What are you talking about? He's just a big idiot. Shoot him. Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. It doesn't matter to who, Burrito. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. Okay, what's one plus one? A Two. A test. Uh, but before that, I'll return this to you. Give me my gun. Nagito's giving me my gun back. See, we got our gun back. Hooray. Well, we just have one truth bullet. Hacking gun. Yep. I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. And we already know Nagito's evil if you've played the other ones, everybody, so... It sure is an amazing little machine. Yeah, it sure is. Aren't you just filled with hope, Nagito? A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. It's funny. However, it was a bit... too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Did you get the joke? You like how it breaks the fourth wall like that? Let's just uh, just save that screenshot. There you go. Easy. That was funny. Game balance? Yep, game balance. Don't you know how, how fourth walls work? No need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Yeah, exactly. Don't you love Nagito? And on the next installment, everybody, uh, we're going to talk to Nagito a little bit more. And we'll actually try to escape the compound. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next. Obviously, it fills me with so much hope.